Hello guys and welcome to my first video on this channel. Um, in this video, I wanted to show you the two ways you can play. You can still play CS:GO in uh, 2024 since um, since CS2 released and the slightest update. Uh, it's been really a pain to play CS:GO again, but I'll show you the two most popular and best ways to play it. Okay, so the first one is through Steam. So if we go over to Steam, we have to search for CS2. And now we can go to the settings. We're going to manage. Uh, sorry. We are going to properties. And then we have uh, betas options. We go here. And there's beta precipitation. And we choose CSGO Legacy. Legacy version of CSGO. We're gonna hit that. We're gonna go back. And now uh, CS2, as we see, uh, has an update. Um, if we hit install, it'll install CSGO. Now, the thing that makes this not the best option is that, first of all, one of the biggest problems with this is the fact that you can only play with bots or you can play on community servers. But on community servers, mo uh, you if you wanna use the USP, for example, you need to change it from your inventory, which doesn't work. So with this is not the best way, also taking in fact, it's gonna take a lot more of your memory since, it, since you also have to have the CS2 game uh, installed. So it'll take around, just like I said, around 70, 60 gigs, something like that. Uh, but if you do, you can still play. You'll uh, have uh, you'll play with your Steam account, uh, and uh, but if you get, you can still get VAC band, and if you do, you won't be able to play the main CS2 game as well. Another thing that we can do, um, not that popular of a method, is that we can use the Seven Launcher uh, version of CS:GO. Seven Launcher is basically. Uh, a Russian company that gets cr makes cracked games with uh, sometimes with cheats. We you also have CS Source, GTA 5, and all of that. And we can also get CSGO from here. The only downside of this version is that it's still gonna take some memory because even though CSGO base game is 10 to 20 gigs, there's also an option to have all of the skins in the game, which will take up which will make the game get up to 40 gigs. Uh, but I know you can uh, disable that option anyways. So what you have to do, uh, again, I'm gonna warn you, it's not the safest method. So don't blame me if you get virus or something. But I have used several launcher before, I'm gonna be honest. I have used it for a uh, Euro truck. It's not here anymore. I think I got it from another site, but I have used it from for your truck, I think for CSGO as well. And I never actually had any problems, but I'm not 100% percent sure this is safe so uh, do it at your own risk so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna press download 7 launcher it's gonna download us this uh, launcher which I already have anyway um, after it downloads the launcher you're gonna open it we're gonna go over here we're gonna open it select the language next next we're gonna you yeah, make sure both of these are checked and then we're gonna uh, it's gonna open this menu and from uh, here on, it's gonna start automatically downloading CSGO. And after this bar uh, is loaded, it's gonna open another installer for more additional files. And after all of that is done, it's gonna, it's most probably gonna pop up this menu again. If not, you can go over here and search for it. And uh, just make sure it's on CSGO Legacy, not CS2. Version is the latest. You can choose your name and your clan tag. Uh, there's also some servers you can browse for here, but there's the end game server browsers. Uh, settings, if you want, here you can choose the skins and all of that, the rank. And after that, you just press play. Uh, you want to make sure you don't have Steam open, because that's going to uh, make some problems. So just make sure Steam is shut down. Okay. And that's going to open CSGO for you. Now from this point on, it's gonna open up CSGO for some seconds, it's gonna be a black screen, since the whole emitter and thingy is gonna load. 
and something to take a fact for both versions. So on the 7 launcher version, it's just gonna say legacy version of CSGO, this is the legacy version of CSGO, and blah blah blah. And you can just hit OK. But on uh, if you do the Steam uh, version, the one I showed you on Steam, it's also gonna say another thing about how y uh, you can't play on like public servers anymore and all of that. You're gonna have to uh, press continue. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop up uh, image if I can find one uh, on screen right now. And it's a bit more tricky on the CS2 versions to actually play since here. Uh, you can just go over here. We don't actually have any like matchmaking, so we just go commit the server browsers. And for CS2, apart from this one, it's gonna also uh, it's gonna give you the same warning that you got at the for at the start of game again. Now, what you have to do, there will be a button saying "Learn More." Once you press that button, it's gonna open a web page. Uh, it, I don't think the web page actually works anymore, but it's gonna open it. Now, uh, when it opens the web pa page, you can just close it, get back into CS2, and very quickly, while it says uh, over here uh, connecting to the Steam network, pretty sure that's what it says, you just press on community server browsers again, then you just click never show again, and okay, and you're gonna have to do that every single time you wanna play. And from here on, uh, the list of servers might be different, but uh, this is basically all of the servers. And from here on, you can uh, just qu quickly find the server, enter it, and you can play. Also, a little uh, tip for uh, the ones that are using the server launcher. Once again, as I said, if you want to use the USP, for example, you have to go into your inventory, which it doesn't work on the Steam version. On the server launcher version, you uh, if you have all of the skins, uh, well, you don't need to have all of the skins, but basically just press on inventory. If you have all of the skins installed, it's uh, going to take a while. But here you can see all of the pins and all of that, and from here on, uh, if you're gonna play on community servers, it uh, doesn't really matter which skins you choose because most of the servers need you to change your skins through a command. But you can just go over here and for example equipment and we're gonna go pistol and just find a CS, uh, uh, sorry, a USP skin and just uh, choose it. And after that you're gonna have the USP. Same goes for the revolver and other uh, the other guns. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.